Hi, I'm Philip from Optimize Lab, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new campaign within Google Ads Editor rather than within the Google Ads interface itself. Um, so to start with, I'm assuming you've already downloaded and installed Google Ads Editor. If you haven't been able to do that, then I have created a separate video on how to do that. So you should be able to find that within uh, the Optimize Lab Google um, a YouTube channel. Um, now, once you've got the account open, to create a new campaign, you simply can just click on the plus uh, the add campaign button, and this will create um, a default campaign with all of the uh, with with none of the settings set up yet. So the first thing we're do, going to do is give the campaign a name. So we're just going to call the campaign. Uh, we're just going to assume that it was a campaign set up for solicitors or something. So we're going to call it Solicitors London Budget. So this is going to be the daily budget for the campaign. So the amount that you would like to spend within the campaign per day. So let's say we wanted to spend £100 per day. We're going to enter £100. Now it's important to note with the way Google Ads uh, works... Um, the whatever budget you set, the system on any given day can spend double that budget. So in this instance, it could spend £200 for that day, but then the system will try to even out the spend to roughly 30 times whatever your daily budget is per month. So in this case, it would aim to spend uh, £3,000 per month and you'll try to moderate the spend in order to achieve that but like i said on any given day it could spend more than 100 pounds it could spend 200 pounds um also it can spend less than that depending on the amount of volume now uh you can also select um uh the type of budget you want so it could be you set a total for the whole campaign that it can spend throughout its entire duration uh you also can select bid strategy so there are a number of different bid strategies that you can select. The default is manual CPC. Um, you can also choose the campaign type. So either a search campaign or a display campaign, shopping campaign, etc. In this case, we're going to go with search, which is the most common campaign type. Um, and you can select whether you want to enable um, Google search partners. Um, uh, and you can also select if you want to include the display network. So this would be a search campaign with display select. Uh, so we're just going to put that as disabled because that's what you commonly want to do when you're setting up a search campaign. Um, and then you can select the start date. Uh, typically, you just leave that as the default, which will be today, the day you've set up the campaign. You don't need to send an end date unless there's a particular date. You definitely want the ads to permanently stop running. Uh, devices, we're going to select all for the time being. But if you um, don't want your ads to show on particular devices such as mobiles um, or on tablet devices, or even if you maybe are just wanting a mobile focused campaign and you don't want your ads to show on desktop, then you can select free ads to not show on desktop also. Um, so that campaign has now been fully created, but what we are lacking um, is, so the location targeting has automatically been set up as the default um, for the um, country that's been set up for the account, so it's defaulted at United Kingdom, but if I just wanted to, for example, target England, then what I can do is click add location, type in England here, then I'm going to click check locations, and it's going to check this, and it's going to uh, make sure the location's added correctly, and then what you can go, go ahead and do is just delete the United Kingdom. So now um, we are targeting um, just England. Um, now, crucially, one thing we also want to take a look at in the settings is targeting method. Um, so you want to, if you just want your ads to show within England, then what you want to select here is people in or regularly in 
your targeted locations. Because if you go with what is the recommended setting here, people in or who show interest in your target locations, what can happen then is that people who are showing an interest in England but actually located outside of England, for example in the United States or they could be uh, in France, those people can possibly be showed your ads also because they are showing an interest. Um, for example, in this case, solicitors in London, they might type that in even though they're in France and they'd be able to see an ad. So to avoid that happening, just click people in or regularly in your targeted locations. Um, so now the location targeting is set up. But one thing we don't have is any keywords or ads yet. Um, you can create ad groups and then you can populate those ad groups with keywords but i'm not going to cover that in this video this is purely on how to set up the campaign and i will be creating other videos for how to set up um the ad groups the keywords and the ads um but for this video i hope it's been useful and informative for you um if it has been then feel free to subscribe for additional content and to get additional tips and strategies for managing your google ads campaigns and thank you for watching